I break down a few of my rap beats, right? So, I had a beef with Nas. Because Nas had called us. And Nas my man. I'm just telling you reasonings behind my beef with him. My personal reason. And I'm like, the reason I even... And Nas is one of my favorite artists, if not my favorite artist. I'm just telling you the reason. You know, when Nas dissed me, that shit hurt. I was like, damn. We grew up on Nas now. We, what did Nas diss us for? Damn, this is crazy. So when he dissed me for no reason, I'm like, damn, I ain't do nothing to Nas. But it's when I just signed the Rockefeller. And I was like, damn, man. Do we ignore Nas or do we respond to Nas? But to me, our back was against the wall because we ain't had no platinum album at. Dipset was just developing. We ain't had no albums at. Albums out nothing. That Nas, when we diss Nas... That was our second mixtape. We put out one mixtape, and then Nas just says the whole second mixtape is cause of Nas. But we had to do that because I'm like, damn, we just getting in the door after a fucked up deal I had at Sony. I'm like, our back's against the wall. I would never diss Nas for no reason. So I'm like, that's why I did it, because I felt our back was against the door. 50 Cent, when me and 50 Cent was going out, that was fun. Shout out to my nigga 50, we good now too. But when 50 dissed this, this, this me, it started with an argument on the phone. Way when your 50 battle be started is because 50 has said, Koch is the graveyard for a lot of rappers. And at the time, Jim Jones had just went to Koch and we had some other deals we had at Koch. And, you know, Jim Jones is dipset. So we were sitting there saying, damn, he called Koch the graveyard and Jim just did a deal. So we got into a little argument on the phone. No, no, you know, it was all, to me, all that shit was just music. Even when me and 50 spoke, we was like, yo, let's get to this money because, you know, certain shit is music and certain shit is not music. When it go past music, that's something different. But me and his shit was all music. So when we spoke, we, we laughed about that shit. That shit was cool. But at the time, I went at 50 because he had did a diss record. 50 is funny. Like, I had an office in Asylum at uh, Warner Brothers. He had, like, two big-ass security niggas bring black roses to my office a box of black roses and i was like i was like this is cute this is gonna be fun and that's when i made the song curtis I mean, curtis a lot of people didn't know his name was curtis till i did the song curtis but um 50 was putting niggas out of business with his diss songs i'm like hold on we we can't let niggas put us out of business now because 50 will put niggas out of business with his diss shit he puts niggas out of business. So that's why I went back at 50. I'm like, damn, man. I just seen this nigga put niggas out of business. So that's kind of, I'm giving you just a little history. And everybody I named, I'm cool with now. We good money. I'm just giving you a little bit of backstory on why I had a problem with niggas. What the fuck is this beef about going on today? What is this about?